message on this man? He has the military. He got the police. He got the nuclear bomb. He got the money. He got the money. We don't have it. Can we take vengeance? The only thing we could do is march. No justice, no peace. I'm a man. Black life matters. That's not how you get justice. The Arabs, the Arabs don't get justice that way. Right? We that again. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. God says, I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Who's Edom? He is the devil. He is the devil. I'm going to show you that. Who is Edom? The so-called the red man. The so-called white man. He's not white, he's red. Okay? He's so red. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. God says he's going to lay his vengeance on the red man. Esau, the so-called white man. God going to get his vengeance because look, for this, the crimes is committed against us. Huh? Does it guys believe in forgiveness? Yes. Let me get that Hebrew. Finish that up. I'm going to show you. By the hand of my people, By the hand Israel. Of, who's God's people? Israel. Israel. So whether you like it, sis, or not, they're going to be a slave. So this is a good thing. This is what uh, this is um, the gospel. But let me get Hebrew about Esau. Um, no, no repentance for him. But she said, she said that God believes in repentance. Right? God wants you to repent. Okay, Christ came and died for us, for you, for the nation of Israel to repent. You can't forgive them. You could forgive them, but God is going to put you to death for that. Because you're not following what he says. I'm going to show you. Wait. White people don't follow when you say he don't kill them. So what? White people don't follow when you say he don't kill them. But well, that's why he just said. So that's why he says he's going to. Huh? I have a good heart. My have a good heart. I don't have to feel how he feels. Say that again? The, the, worst, the worst thing that God said, he gave me a brain. He gave Give you a brain me, to he take. Exactly. I don't have to believe he said because I don't believe You don't have to believe in who God. says. No. But God said, you don't I, have to believe in what I God believe says. In God. I believe in faith. I believe that what He says is right. But I don't believe in no one to somebody something bad because they didn't. But he, he, God didn't say that for you to do it. He said He's gonna do it. So then when He comes, He's gonna do it. Right? You understand? Know no, I know you're not gonna do it. But He said He's gonna use His people, Israel, to do it. You understand? The only thing He wants us to do is to repent. From our sins. You understand? You're not gonna do it because you're female. We the army of God is gonna do it. But understand that you are the children of Israel that you're gonna reap the benefit when you repent the kingdom of heaven is for you. You understand what I'm saying? All of us. All of us. Okay, you wanna to go to heaven. That's very good. Let me get Matthew 19. Now I'm gonna show you what to do for you to get in heaven. We all wanna to go to heaven. Nobody wanna die. Everybody wants to go to heaven. But there's a way for you to go to heaven. Can you tell me how to get to heaven? Can you tell me sir, how to get to heaven? Huh? You're clueless. That's a very good answer. Anybody else? Can you tell me, sir? Okay, now the God is gonna tell you, Christ. Live a rightful way of life. Okay, listen, Jesus Christ is gonna tell you how to get to heaven. Read that. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Sis, you listening? Good master. You say you want to go to heaven. You say you don't know how to get to heaven. Right? You want to go to heaven too, right? I want to go to heaven, bro. Right? So now Christ is going to show us the way to go to heaven. Sis, pay attention. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Read. And he said See? unto him, Read on. Why callest thou me good? See, Christ did not take the glory. He didn't take the credit. He said, why are you calling me good? And we all know Christ was good. Right? He has no sin. Read. There is none good but one. Christ that is nobody God. that's good but one. That's the Father in heaven. Read. But huh? this one, all of, we're gonna show you what makes us good. But if thou will enter into life, keep the commandments. You wanna to get to heaven, to the kingdom of heaven? Keep the commandments. That's what right. is God's commandment? 
Seven? No, there's more than seven commandments. How many? You talk about the Ten Commandments? That's Ten Commandments. Why is there seven? I don't know. The Ten Commandments. Okay, and there's more than that. There's more than Ten Commandments in the Bible. How many are there? There's, uh, some people say there's over 300. You understand what I'm saying? But we're not, we can't do all the commandments that's in the scriptures. You understand? Because we're in captivity. It's all right, since it's okay. That's why we're here to help each other. We are our brother's keeper. We love our people. That's why we're teaching them who they are so we can love ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? So now God says to make, to go into the kingdom of heaven, we must keep his commandment. Right? What is today's day? What is today? Huh? Today is July 4th. Are we supposed to celebrate July 4th? You don't know? Okay, according to history, where was our people July 4th, 1776? Okay, so should we celebrate? We should not celebrate. So why are our people going crazy to barbecue party? You understand? Get them going to jail by blowing firecrackers. When the white man says blowing firecrackers in the street is illegal, but yet they're still going to jail for blowing firecrackers for a day that there was in slavery when the white man took his independence. Why are we doing that? Because we destroy for our lack of knowledge. We don't know who we are. We are suffer an identity crisis. Once you don't know who you are, you don't know where you go, where you going. You don't know where you're coming from. You're not gonna go. You're not gonna know where you're going. You don't know your past. You're not gonna know your future. You understand? So this is our past. We're reading for you in the Bible. The reason that all this thing is happening is because we broke God's law. You understand? And one of these laws, remember, you say you want to go to heaven. You got um, uh, Leviticus 19. You want to go to heaven. Now you know how to get to heaven. Now you, you said something earlier about uh, the white man forgiveness. Right? Let me get that in Hebrew. You understand? So this is not our word. We're not making this thing up. The Lord sent us here to tell you blacks and Latinos to repent from your sin. Stop breaking God's law. So let's celebrate 4th of July. It's a sin. Right. Breaking the Sabbath day. Today is the Sabbath day. You're not supposed to buy. You're not supposed to cook. You understand? You're doing that today. You're breaking God's law. Read. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Listen to this. Says, Let there be any fornicator. What is a fornicator? What is a fornicator, sir? Come close, come close. Huh? When you cheat. A fornicator is somebody when you fornicate God's law, you break his, his commandment. Sexual sins. Okay? Sexual sins. You understand? Like female with female, male with male, male with animals. You understand? Read. Lest there be any fornicator Read. or profane person. Or profane person. What is that profane mean? Outside the temple. Outside the temple. Okay, profane. Fornicator and profane. Two very wicked and bad words according to God. Read. As Esau. As who? As Esau. The main subject was who? Esau. Right? I show you according to the Bible and according to uh, archaeology proof that Esau is a so-called white man. The red man. He's not white. He's red. You understand? The Bible says he's red. He's not white. You understand? So the Bible says uh, unless there's any fornicator and profane person as Esau, read. Who for one morsel of meat? For one morsel of bread, read. Sold his birthright. Okay, he sold his birthright. Now you can read that in Genesis the 25th chapter. On down on the birth of Esau and Jacob. You understand how he sold his birthright? Okay, read. For ye know how that afterward. When he would have inherited the blessing. Okay, the blessing is that he was the firstborn son. So according to the Bible in the ancient time, the firstborn son usually received the blessing of the father before the death. You understand? So because he sold his birthright, now when it's time for him to receive the blessing, read. He was rejected. He was rejected. So God rejected Esau. Okay? God, why? Because he's a profane in the fornicator. He does not love God. You understand what I'm saying? He's pushing homosexuality. He's pushing lesbianism. It was a LGBT. He's pushing that. God is against that. 
You understand what I'm saying? He said it's okay for two men to lay down with a, together. For women with women. He's a fornicator. He's a profane person. Read. For he found no place of repentance. He found no place of repentance. He cannot repent. You understand what I'm He cannot repent. There's no hope for him. America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear weapon. World War III is coming. It's inev inevitable. You understand? So that's why we are here telling you blacks and Latinos, you better repent or you're going to go down with this country when it goes down. That's right. So it's going down. That's right. God is going to destroy this country by thermonuclear destruction. World War III is coming for this country. This country, according to the Bible, is known as Sodom and Gomorrah. You ever heard that story? Sodom and Gomorrah, that God burned that country down. With everybody that was in it, except three people that, that survived. God burned the whole country because of that same lifestyle that you find here in the United States of Babylon. Okay? Lesbianism. Let me get that Leviticus 28 and 18. You understand? God is against homosexuality. God is against lesbianism. God is against men sleeping with animals. God is against fathers sleeping with their own daughters. You understand? It's all in the Bible. But the church, the white man is not going to teach you that. Because the more he keeps you in sin, the more that God is going to punish us. So the more his kingdom is going to go. You understand? Now we're living in the last days. The Lord wants us to repent because the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven is our hand. Read that. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Read. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. God it says, is abomination. God said, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as you do with a woman. You understand what I'm saying? Two men laying in a bed together having sex is an abomination to God. God hate that thing. You understand? God hate it. Let me get Romans. You know, according to the Bible, you're not supposed to wear pants. I see you got dressed on today. So I'm going to show you on a, a few pair of pants. Let me get to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Remember, you want to go to heaven. Right? To go to heaven, what, what must we do? Huh? To go to heaven, what, what we got to do? Huh? Repent. Repent and do what? Keep, keep my... What? Keep my... Keep our what? Keep my what? Keep our commandments. There you go. Keep my commandments. What? You, have, you got that, right? Okay. So now let me get, let me get that... Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What is that? Thanks. That's in the Bible. That's a law. That's not anything. That's not anything commandments. That's a law. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Which man you know today that's putting women's clothes garment? Huh? Who? Gay men. Who else? In our community. I just know gay men. Trans you got, got Medea. You got Martin Lawrence. Right? Okay, you got uh, Buff Daddy. Wearing skirt. You got Jaden Smith. Wearing skirt. You got, uh, what's that guy with Kanye the West. Fast and the Furious? Kanye West. Kanye West is wearing skirt. That's a new trend now. Now, what do you think the young boys is going to be doing now? The young boys who, who, who inspire, inspires to be a rapper. They want to be rich like Buff Daddy and them. What do you think they're going to be doing? They're going to wear still wearing skirt. Okay, that's going against God's law. You understand? Let me get on Leviticus 19.27. You understand what I'm saying? So now, are they following God's law? They're not following. Are they, are they going to get to the kingdom? No, they're not. Because you're not following God's law. Unless, if they repent, then they'll make it. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 27. See, the Bible is not only talking about women, other men. It's just telling about the whole nation, how to live our life. This is not a religious book. You understand what I'm saying? It's not a religious book. It's a book like the constitution for the Israelite. How to live our life. How to deal with one another. You understand what I'm saying? Not to love one another. How to do it. Not, you know, not to hate one another. You understand? Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. 
They shall not make boldness upon their head. According to the Bible, you blacks and Latinos, you're not supposed to boil your head. According to the Bible, we. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Sir, you're not supposed to shave off your beard. That's according to the Bible. Remember we read in uh, Matthew 19. If you want to enter into life, right? What must we do? We need the command. That is a command. Okay. Can we get a... You understand? These are the commandments of God that the church the school system is not teaching our people. You understand? Because as soon as our kids go to school, they go to, right down to the pipeline of jail. You understand? This is what keeping the, the that's fueling the economy of the United States. Our people are going to jail. Our kids are going to jail. You understand? That's what that's what there is. They're getting bad education, bad everything. You understand why? Because we are not teaching them according to the law how to live their life. So they're in the street turning to gangbangers. They're joining the gangs because they can stay in school. The school is not teaching them who they are. You understand? Because when they go to church, this is what the pastor is teaching them, that Christ is a white man. According to the Bible, Christ is not white. According to the Bible, this is the, the picture of uh, Caesar Borgia, the second son of Alexander the Pope of Rome. Okay, this guy was a child molester. He was a murderer. He had sex with his own sister. This is the picture that our people is bowing down to, is worshiping. That's the image of the beast. When you go to church, your political arena, you are practicing the mark of the beast. So the Lord want us, let me get to Revelation 18 and 4. You understand? So the Lord want us to come out of the system. Come out of it. Their philosophy, their mental, everything about them is wrong. Read that. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Read. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Read. Come out of her, my people. God wants us to come out of the ways of America, people. Blacks, you blacks and Latinos. God wants you to come out of the ways of America. You understand? Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. So that you don't be partakers of her sins. What is the sins of America? LGBT. That's a sin. That's right. God is going to destroy this country for that same reason. You understand? For lying on the Son of Christ, the Messiah, the Black Messiah. Okay? That's a sin. Okay, I'm going to show you according to the Bible what color Christ is. Finish reading that. And that ye receive not of her plagues. Her plagues. The plagues of being a lesbian is what? You get sickness. Syphilis. The plague of you being a homo, you get AIDS. You understand? So that's one of her plagues. And the major, the major plagues that's going to happen is when this place is destroyed. Totally destroyed by nuclear fire. Read. Um, Revelation. So now, according to the Bible, I'm going to show you that this is not the picture of Christ. Christ never looked like this. Prior to 1453, there was never a white image of Christ. That was painted during the Renaissance time. Okay, by Leonardo da Vinci. What's the other one name? You know the bench here in uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, read. Revelation chapter one verse one. Today we're gonna to show you the real picture of Christ according to the Bible. Read the revelation of Jesus Christ. We're gonna to reveal to you according to the Bible what Christ looked like. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things that must surely come to pass. Look at verse 14. Verse 14. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. The Bible says Christ's head, the hairs on his head were white like wool. Who got woolly hair, sir? Take your hat off. Take your hat off. See that? That's a woolly hair. Right. Perfect example of what woolly hair looks like. So Christ looks just like you. And he says, do not shave your beard. Read. As white as snow. As 
white and snow, fully gray. Read. And his eyes were as flame of fire. His eyes was red because when you read the prophecy about Christ, Christ drank a lot of wine. He loved his wine. But he wasn't drunk. He drank in moderation. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Fine brass, what color is brass? He says, what color is brass? Yeah. Like brown. You agree? Like brown. So his feet, right, was brown. So if his feet is brown, what color is his whole body? Brown. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Read. As if they burnt in a furnace. Now, if you take that brass, you burn it in a furnace, right? You pull it out. What color is that going to come out? Anything you burn, you burn. What color does it come out? Like your complexion. You understand what I'm saying? Read. That's it? Okay. Uh, let me get the other one. Uh, uh, let me see how guys look like. Look at that one now. You understand? So, Christ look like you. God look like you. So if God, Christ, look like you, he's a black man, what would the color of the Jews be? The real Jews are black, according to the Bible. So who are these people in Israel? Claiming to be Jews, Jewish. They're who? Jewish people are Hebrew. They're not Hebrew. And they believe in Israel. I mean, they're, they're Hebrew, but they're not Israelite. Hebrew is a language. You understand? Let me get that Revelation 2 and 9. I'm going to show you. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Me? I know thy works and tribulation God and said, poverty. God says that He know our heart. The real Jews are, are working very hard, seven days a week, nine to five, five to eleven, two to eleven. They could never make hands meet, right? Be that again. I know their work. So God said, you know how hard we work and read. And tribulation. Are we not in tribulation? Are we not being shut down by the police? And we're marching, Black Lives Matter? No justice, no peace. Right. We are in tribulation. That's right. You understand? Nine people in church praying, supposedly praying to God, Bible study. A white boy came in and shot nine of them. That's right. And he still get bail. A million dollar bail. You're not supposed to get that bail. You understand? Are we are not in tribulation? What are we doing? We're marching. The Arabs don't match. The Arabs, when they want something, what they do? They bomb the head of some kind of embassy somewhere. We're the only one that's marching. No justice, no peace. And they're laughing at us like we're a bunch of fools. We that again. I know their works and tribulation. We are in tribulation, read. And poverty. Who is in poverty? We are the worst. Poverty ever. We are the only pe people that's on po uh, in, in, in poverty. Huh? You understand? The blacks and Hispanics, we are in poverty. We are the first fired, last hired. You understand? Read that again. I know their works and tribulation. Read. And poverty. We are in poverty. Read. But thou art rich. We are rich. Why are we rich? Why are we rich? Benzo, why are we rich? We don't know. Because we are the children of Israel. The kingdom of heaven is for us. That's right. That's why we read that if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, what must you do again? Come on, man. Come on, man. You know, you know it. Come on, man. What must we do? Follow the commandments. That's how we're rich. The kingdom of heaven is ours. Is ours. All we have to do is repent and follow the Lord. The white man is going to be our slave. The Chinese man is going to be your slave. The Arab man is going to be your slave. The African is going to be your slave. By the way, we are not Africans. You understand? All nation is going to be our slave. The whole planet Earth was created for our sake. Everything belongs to us. But why we do not possess it? That's the question. Why? Why we don't possess it? You own, brother. I know. I see you, man. I see you, bro. Why we don't possess it? 
Huh? No, because of our, what she said? No, not because of Esau, because of you, because of me, because of him, because we broke God's law. That's why. How do we break the laws? You put blonde hair in your hair, sweetie. That's a sin. You breaking the Sabbath. That's a sin. He's shaving his beard. That's a sin. Women wearing pants. That's a sin. You celebrating the 4th of July. The 4th of July. You was in slavery. Why are we celebrating the 4th of July? It's not our independence. We're still in slavery. That's right. We're still in captivity. Somebody's telling us what to do. The white man is still telling us what to do. So you are not free. Why are we going crazy? Blacks and Latinos going to jail for blowing firecrackers in the street while the white man says it's illegal. You understand what I'm saying? You, you, you're going to jail for something that's illegal that you're not supposed to celebrate in the first place. That's double punishment God is putting on our people. Christmas. We have to celebrate Christmas. You understand what I'm saying? All is recorded in the Bible. When we almost finish with that. Revelation 29. What translation? Revelation chapter 2. Verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation. Read. And poverty. So we are working hard. We are in tribulation and we are the one in poverty. Read. But thou art rich. But we're rich because the whole earth was created for our sake. The only way we're going to get that when we turn back to who we are. That is Negroes. That is Muslims. That is Baptist. That is uh, any kind of religion. You understand? As Israelite. Read. I know and I know the blasphemy of them. And Christ says he knows the blasphemy. What is a blasphemy? What is a blasphemy? What is a blasphemy? Lie. In other words, right. Okay? It's a filthy lie. So he said, you know the lies, read. Of them which say they are Jews. Of them, which is a particular group of people. Of them which says they are Jews. What is their nationality, sir? You don't know. See what I'm saying? You don't know. No, listen, listen. listen, listen. I understand that. It's prophesied that was going to happen. This is the reason why we're here today to tell you that according to the Bible, your nationality, you are Israelite. You understand? So now, you know the blasphemy of a particular group of people who say they are Jews because we are not calling ourselves Jews. You understand what I'm saying? Read. And are not. The Bible said they are not the Jews. The Bible says they are not the Jews. Read. But are. The synagogue of Satan. They are what? The synagogue of Satan. What are they? Says. What is that saying? Huh? The evil. Remember what I said earlier that you said about you, you don't hate, you should forgive, because this is what God is saying. So should you love he evil or hate evil? You should hate evil. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Let me get that sword to the truth. Get Ezekiel 35 verse 5. Today is July 4th, right? Remember, what grade are you in? What grade are you in? So you're in college. All right, in high school, what did you learn about Adolf Hitler? Right, do you believe it? Yes, I believe it. Okay, now, we learned that Adolf Hitler is evil, and we believe it. We learned that Osama bin Laden is evil. We believe it. Remember, they had a big march in Manhattan after they killed the man. The white man taught you that these people are evil. You believe it. That's Listen right. to this. Ezekiel 35. What does God say? Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Start at verse 2. Listen to what Ezekiel says. Verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir. Mount Seir is where Esau comes from. That's the origin of the white man. Mount Seir, he comes from the mountains. Then, in the Middle Ages, they were in the mountains of Georgia, Russia, called the Caucasus Mountains. Read. And prophesy against it. Now God tells Ezekiel to prophesy, to teach against Esau. Praise the Lord God. Thus saith the Bible. Read. Behold, listen, look. Look closely. Oh Mount Seir. Oh Mount Seir. Oh Esau, the Caucasian world. I am against thee. God is against 
this country. That's right. God is against this country. That's Read. Right. And I will stretch out my hand. God is against letting you. you know now that he will stretch out his hand. Read. And I will make thee most desolate. Why does he say out of all the countries, I will make thee most desolate? Why? Because there's a judgment for all the nations. All the nations has a judgment. God says America has the worst judgment. Read it again. And say unto it, thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God. Behold. Look. O Mount Seir. Come on. I am against thee. Come on. And I will stretch out my hand Read. against thee. I will make thee most desolate. So God says, I'm going to make this country most desolate. Come on, continue, watch. Verse 5 is the point. I will let... Go to verse 5. Yep. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Now God is letting you know why he's against America. He says, because, because, listen to why. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Because you have had an everlasting hatred. Hatred. How does the white man hate? so-called black people. How? The drugs all up in Queens. Where do you think it comes from? Who do they give it to push? They give it to our people to sell it to their own people, the drugs. Look at our people, homosexuality. They're promoting that all throughout TV. Why? Because they want our young black men to remain effeminate and homosexuals. Drugs, gangs, homosexuality, hatred, hatred. Then you think, oh, 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 let me put my son in school. Let me make sure he's in school. What does he learn in school? You're an African. Oh, Adolf Hitler, he's evil. Christopher Columbus, he's good. Why do you think they're off on Columbus Day? And what happened on Columbus Day? He slaughtered 77 million of us. That's right. He slaughtered 77 million. And you got the Hispanics marching all up and down the parade. Read it again. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. God is telling you the so-called white man hates you. He's telling you to your face how. By reading. When you read the Bible, you'll see, oh, they do hate us. There is no love for us. You think because they had a so-called black man in office, that means he loves you? No. The crime rate in Chicago is still high. The crime rate in Queens is still high. If anything, it's worse. Oh, here's another way he hates you. You said, oh, okay. The so-called white man came in, shot up nine black people, right? Oh my God, he's charged. So you think that's it, justice is done, right? But then on the news, nine black churches set on fire. What does that tell you? They despise you. We are hated. So we have to what? Wake up, keep reading, watch. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Now he's going back to the history. Has shed the blood of the children of Israel. These are the children of Israel, blacks and Hispanics. How did they shed our blood, blood, brother? Right here. This is how they shed our blood. Come close, look at this. This is how they shed, don't be nervous, bro. We here for you. This is how they shed our blood. But look, I want you to see this. Can you see it from there? How many people's hung up? Look at him trying to count when you can come right here. With the... This is how he hates us. Read it again, has what? And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. And have shed the blood of blacks and Hispanics. Our blood has been shed historically and till today. You understand? Keep reading. The children of Israel by the force of the sword. By the force of the sword because they murdered us. They murdered us and they told you it's okay, forget about it. But they tell you that Adolf Hitler is an evil man. They tell you Osama Bin Laden is an evil man. That's why you're so quick to say, oh yeah, Hitler's bad. All of them are bad. All of them are bad. That's right. All of them. You think they love you, they do not love you. They hate you. You need to wake up. Wake up. Stop worrying about what? Changing your hair color. 
Stop worrying about all that madness, but what? Worry about your history. That's what you gotta worry about, worry about your history. Literally, 1776, on this day, we were in chains, in chains. And now what are we doing on this day? Barbecue, thinking everything's all right. Oh, we all right, we all right. Nick got a call, we good. Read that part. We're at the same part where you at, just keep reading. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. So God is telling you, the white man has always hated us. The so-called white man, God calls him red, has always hated us. <laughs> has shed the blood of the children of Israel. And they have shed our blood. They've murdered us. Wait, we think that they love us. Why in the world did nine black churches burn? Why? Preach. Why did nine black churches burn? Wait, come here, come here, come here. I'm you say I'm sorry. Look, look, look. I'm never in a rush. No, 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 but it's alright. Look, 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 look. Does the white man love us? Does the white man love you? Does the white man love us? Does the white man love you? Read the scripture again for him. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. So God is telling you, the red man, because that's what God calls him, the red man, because what do they call him in the south? Rednecks, yeah. rednecks, oh, rednecks, like rednecks, read. God doesn't like white people. Perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. And the Bible now says he shed the blood of the children of Israel. Who's the children of Israel? Says, just listen. Notice the confusion. The answer's right here. Everybody's talking. The answer's right here. Everybody's talking. Just listen. Read. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. God is telling you this race has had a everlasting hatred. And has shed the blood of and the children of Israel. And our fathers. You Do you realize you your churches is built on the blood of the enemies? People die in front of churches every day. By the force of the sword. Come on. In the time of the, their calamity. Ah, here's the point. Read. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Because God says, listen, I had a time period for the for when I would have my people in slavery. God says that what? Esau, the white man, so-called white man, in the time that our iniquity had an end, in the sun, they kept it's treating us what? Sun. Like God burning the sun. Slavery. Murdered our sisters, raped our sisters, you understand? Slaughtered. And Slaughtered. now what? Slaughtered. And now what? So what's the answer? What's the answer? Yeah. What's the answer so between us? Let him read the answer. Let him read the answer. This is not a game. Let him read the answer. What is what, what So sis, you understand so far? Right? I know what's Huh? I know what's going on, but I I know, I know. That's all. I, I'm, I'm happy. You, you, have, you pay attention. And, 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 and um, you gotta make this state our opinion. You know what I'm saying? Rabbit? Rabbit? I understand. I have full understanding, dog. Rabbit? I have full understanding. You understand? I have full understanding. Get that with I have full understanding. But not with it. Acts chapter three, verse nineteen. Repent ye therefore, and be converted. And be converted. Read that again. Repent ye therefore. The scripture says, repent ye therefore. Read. And be converted. How do you get converted? How do you get converted? No. How do you get converted? Keep the commandments. See? Very good. See, see, you are spending good attention. Okay, we got, listen, that paper in your hand, we got classes online, right? Three times, seven days a week. Okay, and we got videos on YouTube and stuff like that. We got again. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. So that means that when you convert it, your sins is forgiven. That's what because saying. that's the reason why Christ okay. came. You understand what I'm saying? Um, for, for our sins. Christ sins. Do you know what sins Christ is? Christ 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 what is sins? Sin. Sin. Yeah. The scripture says to be to be converted. Huh? God doesn't want you to do it? Okay, I'm going to read it for you according to the Bible. Let me get sins. First John chapter 3 verse 4. That's what sins is according to the Bible. And according to how I think, how you think, according to what the Bible says. Read. Go. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Sis, you, you, you listen. Wrong, Read that again. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. So if you break God's law, 
That's a sin. That means I'm ask you a you, you, you trans you understand that? Ask you a question, that means bro. that the, the, hold on a second, bro. Hold on a second. So the laws that we was reading, today is the Sabbath day. You understand? Like I was telling the gentleman over there, you're not supposed to shave up your beard. That's a law. That's a sin if you do it. You understand? Now we're wearing pants. It's a sin. Uh, blonde hair is a sin. Huh? Look, can I answer the question, Lord? Come, come, come over here, sis. Huh? Yeah. All right, no. I've seen that you're not trying to hear. No, go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? And this is all right. Yeah. Yeah. Come, come for us. I have my own personal beliefs. Okay. Now, not to not you. Listen, I believe in Satan, man. And I'm not going to say Listen, listen. Let me get um. um what is what is Psalm, Psalm 17? I'm not listening to you. But sis, I'm not rational. But you're going to your your own thinking. What is devil spelled backwards? No, 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 no. Psalms chapter 19 verse 7 The law of the Lord is perfect Converting the soul Sis, remember the scripture says For you to repent And be converted, right? So now what, what converted us is what? The law of the Lord is perfect Converting the soul Converting the soul Alright, so for you to make it to the kingdom of heaven You have to be repent Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.